In Mari, certain filter effects like blur could only be applied to a paint layer or node. In order to perform a blur operation on a graph network of procedural nodes, artists would first have to convert the graph into a paint node and then apply the filter there. This would disrupt the flow of artist creativity and was a completely destructive workflow. We've addressed this opportunity to increase Mari's proceduralism by bringing filters to Mari's bake points. Artists can now insert a bake point into their node graph network and apply a stack of filters to the baked result. To apply a filter to a bake point, simply double click the bake point node that you want to apply a filter to in the node graph to make it accessible in the node properties window and then navigate to the filters tab. From here, click the edit filters button and the filter menu becomes available. Within the filters menu, you have access to all the filters you have previously been able to apply to non-procedural nodes and layers. Filters can be stacked within bake points, but be aware that filters are processed in a top to bottom list order and cannot currently be reordered. You are also able to preview your filters by toggling the preview button. Whenever you're finished adjusting your filters parameters, hit apply to apply the filter and close the window. By toggling the filter baked patches box found in bake point node properties, you are able to turn your filter stack on or off. Filters can continue to be edited even after they're applied by selecting your bake point in the node graph and then clicking edit filters. Filters can also be turned on or off individually by toggling the switch next to the filter name. However, please be aware that with convolution filters such as blur or levels, only a single instance of that type of filter can be previewed per stack. So if you have multiple convolution filters in a single stack, such as a blur followed by a levels, only the one that was applied first will be visible in the preview. However, when applied, you will still see the results of the full stack. Additionally, whenever the upstream network has changed, Mari's various batch bake point updating mechanisms will now also reapply the configured filter stack to the updated bake result without interrupting your artistic flow. By combining the existing bake point features of limited patch range baking, and the synchronization of baked results to geo channels, the addition of filters advanced the versatility of baked points more than ever, truly making node graph texturing one of Mari's most empowering features for texture artists. We hope you enjoyed this new feature and happy painting.